What a, well, you call him a servant to the sport earlier on, Des. Fantastic. Yuki Kuni takes this 12 lap race in fine style. 2.8 seconds clear of Chip Nakarim in P3. Nearly four seconds down, Happy Sharon Abdullah. I think that's probably as good as the JDT Racing team could expect from today. Aslan Shah, Cameron's arm, and a spectacular P4 ahead of the former championship leader, Andy Farid Isdahar for Honda Asia Dream Racing with the Stamo. A gutsy P6 from Zach Ronzaidi, who's always great value for many, 13 and a half seconds down. Kazma Daniel wins his own little battle by four tenths of a second against teammate Sochiro Minamoto from Yamaha Techni Racing Team. E9, Shou Nishimura for TKKR BMW Racing, 23 seconds down. Great to see Ibrahim Noradim for FGRT Project. He was never expected to really compete, but on the Ducati, it's a good learning process for him and for Ducati. Good for them to have laps around Sepang. Uh, Kosuke Sakamoto uh, ahead, of, um, ahead of Osama Marai and Chio Ryujio. Yeah, time for some well-deserved hugs. <laughs> and selfies. Look at the joy on the face of the team principal there, Mr. Suzuki. Just wonderful to see. And just a metre or two away. Celebrations are with the Honda Asia Dream Racing with Astimo team. That was a remarkable performance from Nakarin. And we're still waiting for Hafiz to come in. There's probably some fans waylaid him around the circuit. There he comes. The Johor flag waving behind. Genuine contender, though, in season number one. We hope they are still around in season number two. I'm sure they will be. Yeah, they brought colour and glamour and speed. It's been great to have them in this championship. And we're looking forward to what they can bring to the final round in Buri Ram. Absolutely. Absolutely indeed. In the park, Fermi. I know Daniel is in the scrum down there. A lot of Johor fans. They take their sport very seriously in the southern state of Malaysia. They have high demands and... And season number one to still be in championship contention really is a, a proud moment for JDT and for Ducati. And let's get some uh, post-race action, uh, post-race reaction, I should say. Uh, Daniel Bogers is down in the park firm. You can see him there. Looking fit and well, fit enough to drive. Let's go down to Daniel to get some post-race reaction. Race 10 of the 12 race season in the ASB 1000 category at the Asian Road Racing Championship. Happy Sharon of JDT Racing, bike number 55, getting up to a flying start from pole position, but soon found himself under pressure from number 92, Yuki Kuni, the SDG half pro racer, looking to pick up back-to-back -back wins. And there he goes a little bit wide, and you're worried for him because he couldn't get beyond P3 after the first lap. But once he got in front, Barry Russell, there was no catching Yuki Kuni. Yeah, once again, as we saw yesterday, Hafiz Sharin, like a bullet out of a gun, and then we saw some instability on that Ducati. And as you said, mid-race, he looked to be working a lot harder than Nakarin or Yuki Kuni. So he was never going to quite get back. He pushed and pushed. He absolutely never gave up. <laughs> as... Uh, we look at Aslan Shah, there's another ride. What a real thorn into the side, into the championship hopes of Andy Farin. Because as Yuki Kuni goes through and goes on to take the victory with Hafiz, happy to hold on to a podium in P3. Behind them, the battle was really going on for who could get P4. A P4 for Aslan Shah would be great for him and his ego and his and his and uh, how he looks. But for Andy Gillang, it would be a real problem because it would knock him off the top of the standings. Yeah, that's it. And so Andy had everything to go for. 
and I'm sure he knew it. He gave everything to get past the Malaysian. Unable to do so though. Aslan Shah Kamra's arm in a brilliant P2 yesterday onto the final lap. By the end, the gap was nearly three seconds between first and second. Yuki Kuni going on for a win double. I'm not going to say it was comfortable because it wasn't, but it was brilliant from Yuki Kuni. He led from the second lap on the way. Chip Nakarin would come through into P2 to keep himself in championship contention. Happy shouting in P3 and a dramatic <laughs> ending for P4. Aslan Sharp, yeah, he's got that kind of ability. But the dancing belongs to SDG Harpro. That's how you do a wheelie, Aslan Shah. There's your winner, Yuki Kuni. <laughs> Onto the podium. And in P3. Good applause for Hafiz Charin Abdullah for JDT Racing on the Ducati. Said he had one or two problems holding it, but he's, he's in a great position going into the final two races of the season. Yep, and he finishing two places behind him. Help keep him secure in contention. Second place. And your race winner going to Nakarin Atira Puvapath, Honda Yuki Asia Dream Kuni. Racing. Very mature, he kept himself settled, but your winner, a win double for Yuki Kuni. And he's the form man going into the final two rounds. Yes, he is. That was absolutely brilliant. He knew he had the pace, of course. You have to actually deliver it during the race, and he did it. And uh, here you see once again today the joy of victory on the face of SDG team boss, Mr. Suzuki. Wonderful. National Anthem of Japan. Good way to end the day. First race of the day started with the Japanese national anthem for a champion, Hiroki Ono, in the TBS one make, the last national anthem of the day. Also belongs to Japan, Yuki Kuni. But this is a championship still with a long way to go. Hafiz Sharin from JDT Racing. A P3 for him, very much alive in the championship. A P2 